Welcome everyone to a new, a new um, version of the Monday meeting. Uh, I'm very happy to have you guys here. And um, we received a little bit of big, uh, feedback. Uh, last, last week we were trying to be as fast as possible and it seems to be that we were too fast. Um, so this week let's try to concentrate on having a little bit more of time for um, discussions. You see the ambulances? <laughs> It's uh, my house. Um, so anyway, just that the ambulance is passed. Um, so I, I, I hope that we can have today a little bit more time to relax. And if we go a little bit over the 30 minutes, I think it's not going to be that, that, um, that bad. But having said that, let's get started. Um, I guess that because it was like this Thanksgiving, uh, we weren't as good as you know last week putting things uh, on time on the Etherpad. Um, but uh, let's get started. So we're going to start with uh, Kadir. Can you tell us a little bit the highlights of the Sumo development team and UX? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, so you can already see uh, items separated there by our roadmap items and 25% time. And um, as you can see, we're focusing on our roadmap items in, in the remaining time. It's because very little time is left in this quarter, uh, only about two and a half weeks now. And we want to get done with our goals, uh, especially because they're really awesome. Uh, so we have lots of stuff happening uh, within the next two weeks. Um, and if you are a contributor, no matter whether you're a localizer or a forum contributor, you are probably interested in following these developments because they're going to affect you. Um, so for, uh, for people who are active in the KDE, the new show for implementation is almost ready. Uh, so we, we uh, have to regroup and, and uh, talk, we'll probably do that tomorrow in the uh, sprint planning meeting um, on how to roll this out. But I think there is only one more uh, comment left that we have to address and then we are ready to go. Uh, we are not rushing this, to be sure, uh, because this is a big change and uh, there is no deadline for this. Uh, so we wanted to give ourselves the time that this needs to be absolutely sure that it will work when we roll it out because it's going to affect essentially everybody who is using uh, Sumo and the KB. Um, but hopefully it will be a smooth uh, rollout. Uh, then the other thing that we're working on is the, uh, for, uh, the forum. And uh, as you already know, we have uh, different statuses in the forums now. And uh, the goal now is to actually also present those new statuses in the new forum UI. Um, I'm talking about that in the UX update too, uh, but that's a big, that's a huge change that's coming up. So we, have been, we, we do have a threat in the forums about that. And um, hopefully you have already commented there, uh, leaving a message on how you are using the forums today. Uh, so we are not making any big mistakes in the redesign. Uh, but let me say this, uh, I'm really excited about this new thing that's coming up and we will always have time to revise things if it doesn't really uh, pan out as we have expected it uh, um, to work. But the best way to, to do that is, of course, to get feedback as soon as possible and to, um, to get that into the early mockups that we are creating. So I'm, I'm saying this already now. Uh, please head over to the forums, leave your uh, feedback there, and go to the bug if you want to take part in the discussion. That stuff is coming soon. So last chance, last minute changes to, to bring in last minute changes if, uh, if you are affected by that or if you're interested in that area. Cool. Can last but not least. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it sounds really interesting. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing I'm very much excited about is logging in people by uh, just clicking on the email, in the e on the email link. That is something that we are working on in this sprint uh, that's hopefully going to have a uh, boost our numbers um, uh, regarding the, the uh, solved rate. I'm really hopeful on that. Uh, we were uh, actually making it harder than necessary for people to uh, give us feedback. So that's the big hurdle that we're removing now. I'm very excited about that. You, you're probably going to see the effects of that in the forums fairly soon. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. And then we have uh, changes for uh, localizers coming up. Uh, huge changes in the localization dashboard that's coming soon. So you might want to get involved with that. Uh, there is already a lively discussion going on in the bag uh, that's linked from here. And the other thing is um, 
uh, that we have changes for localizers uh, to be product specific. I think that's pretty much all I have. Um, Kadir, I think you, uh, sorry, just you, you had this uh, blog post. Maybe you can put a link from your blog post here so that people can read a little bit more on the background of the changes on the Elton and dashboard. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Great. Uh, okay. Michael, please. Yeah, question about the uh, slow loading website stuff and how that's affecting any of these roadmap items. I know last week, I don't know if it was in this meeting or it was just me and you talking, but you said there was like five developer points allocated to it. And, but it, I don't see it like actually on the, the uh, list of things being worked on. Oh, stuff. that is, yeah. th sorry, just, uh, that's a great uh, point, Michael. Uh, I saw Ricky briefly. Maybe, I don't know if Ricky can tell us something a little bit more about this uh, thing. Uh, or Kadir, I don't know. Yeah, if, if Ricky wants to, yeah, I mean, uh, I, it is in our sprint. I just didn't add it to this uh, plan here because there is nothing specific that we can say about it. Um, but we do, that's our highest priority uh, this week. Uh, Ricky, if you're here and listening, and uh, you, you might jump in with the latest the, information. The performance thing, or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, uh, we, we found that when we changed the setting a couple weeks ago, in um, I don't know, in, in our mod whiskey, it's our in our, our servers, so an IT thing. Um, the problem got worse, so we're gonna we're going to reverse that change, and hopefully we'll be back to where the problem happened like once a week, and and that will be it's, it's, it won't be ideal, but at least it'll be better than now, and we'll keep um, hammering at it. Okay, sounds good, Ricky. I, I heard a couple of contributors that were a little. Um, yeah, you know, everyone's kind of wondering, oh, what's going on with Sumo? It's super slow, but we know that you're working, you know, all the time on that. So everyone, Ricky and his special ninja team um, are all dressed in black and are trying to fix this as soon as possible. Good. Um, thanks, Kadir. Um, is, is, are those the updates that you had today for, for the um, development updates, or is there anything else you would like to talk about? No, oh, that's all. Um, and it also actually covers the UX part as well. Perfect. Okay, well, well, thanks a lot. Um, so I would say that we go on to the round table. Um, and I see two items here. One comes from Amit. Um, he is asking us if we're going to have a list of Sumo contributors country-wise. Um, I think we started working on that. And uh, it, it's a great idea. Um, but I kind of turn the, the question back, like, how do, you wanna, uh, how do you want to help us maintain this? We have the locale lists that are created, you know, kind of like automatically as people um, contribute. But uh, if any one of you has an idea of what would be the best way of curating this list, you know, keeping it up to date, putting it together, um, I'd love to hear about that because it's true. It, it kind of makes a lot of sense uh, to know where people are actually based. Um, but I'm kind of like uh, trying to think about uh, a way to solve it. So um, I'd say, you know, just turn the, the question back. Um, if you have any ideas on how to do it, or if you want to start in your own locale or in your own country, um, I think that that would be great. Um, anyone, any other ideas on that? Yes, Roland, please. But the L10N team already had a series of uh, wiki pages uh, that describe the L10N. Can we just add the two more people there, or is that just people will never find it? Well, I mean, I guess that's the L10N wiki page, and we also have the support forum, and we also have an army of awesome. Um, and if we put our people there, it might be kind of like mm, too much there. I mean, ideally, I think that ideally, um, what we can do is you can register on Mozillians and make sure that you put your country and make sure that you put Sumo. So when you look for Sumo and say India, you would find the people who are on Sumo and on India. I think that would be like the easiest way to go. So maybe we just start telling everyone, asking everyone to please, please, please update their Mozillians profile and add Sumo plus their country. I think that's the easiest way. I think that's a good idea, but can we actually search for two tags at once, like Sumo in Philippines or Sumo in Germany? It'd be um, cool if we could. I, I, I think they're going to add that feature because most tagging systems allow that. So cool. Yes, let's do that. 
I think you can do something. I mean, I know for sure that the German community is doing this already. So they're already, um, like, I mean, all of them are almost aliens and they have these tags. Uh, so okay. you can see clearly that they are Sumo and from, from Germany. Absolutely, you can do that. Yeah. I just, for instance, I just searched Sumo plus India um, and you, you get all our, our Sumo friends. That's, that's really awesome. So I think, Amit, yeah. thanks for the question. And by the way, I see you on the billion. That's great. Um, so let's let's make sure that everyone uh, registers on resilience and tax themselves with the country and with Sumo, right? I think that's a good point. And uh, you can be have multiple countries, you know, like Colombia and Germany, if you so wish. Right, right. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not taking notes. No, uh, I'm just laughing because. Uh, okay, um, perfect. So, um, from both countries. Perfect. So, I, I, you know, we opened this conversation also on the forums trying to ask people to tell us what they thought about this new meeting and everything. I think that people are, um, I see a lot of more of participation, which is great. You know, we have here uh, Ashikur and we have a bunch of people who are, you know, reading the etherpads, asking their questions. Um, so, I'm definitely, I think that we're definitely making some progress in terms of uh, participation. Um, I guess that the uh, the only thing that, that happens is maybe some people want to have some more time. And John 99, his proposal is that we add the um, items to the agenda one full week in advance, and that we only add um, you know very um, pressing matters uh, on the same day. Um, I personally think that the, the good thing about the, the the weekly meetings is that you know you discuss the things that came up the last week and the things that are coming up this week. So I I, I personally think that. Doing it on Friday, as we had uh, agreed, which we didn't really uh, did this week, um, is a great. I mean, it gives at least the, the weekend and the Monday for people to take a look at the Etherpad. So I don't know what you guys think. Um, if weeks in advance, uh, I I think that it might not be very um, useful because you know there are so many things that are coming up. So I just wanted to pick your brains on that. Yeah, I, I mean, I know for me, I can put in, I have a general, what I'm going to plan to do next week, but a lot of times that stuff changes because something more important comes up or that's only part of the story or, or whatever. So I'm not sure just how accurate or helpful it is to put the stuff in there a, a week ahead of time. Right. Okay. So Friday so is already like forecasting the next week's, you know, to to some extent. Right, right. Yeah, well, I, I think that's my opinion. And John, thanks a lot because you, you, I mean, you did this, this, this post that you put on on the forum. You know, talking about you know that you know everything was a little rushed. That you know we should have some time for discussions. Thanks a lot. And you're more than welcome to join us here. Um, I think that Is we might try to. That post? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Let me. Yeah, let me. Um, I should read that. Me. I didn't read yes. that. Yes. This was just I'm gonna put yeah I'm gonna put the link on the on the etherpad right um, there it is so that you can you can go there and uh, and you can read that so thanks a lot John I think I think that I think that's great I, I think that we might try to do the Friday thing that we're, where we update on Friday and then we see if it really may, maybe there are some topics we can talk you know we can plan in advance but the way I see it I think that that it's it's uh, kind of hard because we're always, you know, we're constantly talking about kind of like the day-to-day -day stuff. So um, I feel that um, making it in too many weeks in advance would be hard. But any 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 ideas, anything, just put them uh, on the on on that forum or discuss. We'll discuss it next uh, Monday on the meeting. Um, so that's it. Perfect. Um, any thoughts about that? Otherwise, we'll uh, I'll go over to um, Ashikur. Do you do you want to jump uh, chime in, Ashikur, and, and ask your question? Yeah, yes. I want to ask that what is the update for personal login on the Sumo site? Because uh, my community member asking me what happened to that thing because two or three have tested on the on that day, but after after that there is no update about that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, dear Ricky, anyone of you want to <laughs> Ricky disappeared, right? He's like, I'm not telling you this. <laughs> hey, Ricky disappeared. How did that happen? Ooh, ooh, Kadir, yeah. Do, do, do you have an update on that? 
sorry, I I couldn't hear that. Can you say that again? So uh, we're we're asking what's happening if there's any updates on the persona login for Sumo, and both Ricky and yeah. you are bailing out. This is kind of suspicious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to take this? No. <laughs> it's, it's, you're not professional politicians, are you? <laughs> well, the thing is, we are uh, uh, we are waiting. We are um, we are done from our point of view. Uh, we have done everything that we could. Uh, at this point, we are waiting for one issue to get resolved uh, before we can move on. Um, I feel like I've I've linked to that issue several times, but I'm not sure if I did that here already. I can do that. Okay, please. but okay, so. It, yeah, Ashiko, uh, we're waiting for another team to fix the issues, and uh, yeah. we would love to have Persona. Uh, but as you see, it's uh, something that is not as easy, and you know, we're not very, very proud enough having Persona, but it's not our fault, and we're working towards having it. But thanks for the question. That was a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming, yeah. Okay, so I mean, we have 10 other minutes. As I told you, we don't need to rush so that we only have 30 minutes, but um, let's try to make it a little quicker. So how about Firefox for desktop? Um, Michael, do you want to say something about it? Nope. Can... Okay. The wiki, nothing, nothing important there. Okay, perfect. Um, mobile Firefox OS or Firefox for Android, do you want to comment, want to comment on that, anything important, or, or refer to the wiki? Uh, for Firefox OS, just uh, just an update because I've seen a couple of questions from both the English and the Polish forum. So mm -hmm. unfortunately, um, situation is still the same as last week. So uh, the problem with the updates in uh, in Poland for uh, for uh, version 1.1 uh, is still an ongoing issue. Uh, Alcatel is working on this. I would recommend people having an uh, issue with their phones to go to, to the mobile store where from they bought the phone. We are trying to, to push to, to connect somehow the mobile with Alcatel and with us so that we can help uh, Alcatel's engineers to, to solve this as quick as possible. In the same time, um, like our engineers here in Paris are working on, uh, on it, you know, and are trying to reproduce the issue. So hopefully it will get solved as soon as possible. Okay, well, thank you, Hermina. I think that was an important update, um, especially for our friends in Poland. And hang on in there. We're trying to solve this. But, you know, as soon as you have hardware, um, things get a little complicated and you have to talk to different partners. But thanks a lot for that, uh, Hermina. Uh, very good to know. Good. Um, Roland, Thunderbird or and, uh, Firefox for Android, anything you would want to mention now? Oh, uh, yes. I, money. Isn't money awesome? Okay, it's all uh, about the money. It's all about the money. Ain't a damn thing funny. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, Thunderbird has an interesting proposal from one of our excellent contributors. I haven't processed it, but it's worthwhile reading because the economics of an open source project, especially one like Thunderbird, is always interesting. So if you're interested in economics, money, and Thunderbird, or mm -hmm. any of the above, please check on that link. And also, I hear for moving back to Android, that KitKat has come out for the Google edition of the HTC One and the Galaxy S4. So if you have those devices, please test Firefox for Android 25 and 26. Thanks. Thank you, Roland. Okay, that sounds good. Roland, maybe you can add that in the help needed section um, at the bottom of the Etherpad. Oh, okay. Cool, thank you. Okay, so uh, about um, metrics, Kadir, um, um, anything? You, you said that you know localization is very on the highest, one of its highest levels. I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> nope, I don't have anything to add. That's perfect. Um, maybe I was thinking about it, and maybe this is a post summit, um, you know, thing that happened that people got very energized at the summit. So let's hope the energy keeps going, and you know, we have as many people working here. Perfect. Um, community updates. Oh, I have a bunch and we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to either talk too fast or just, you know, don't pronounce all the words. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to try to make it brief. 
Um, so one thing, we are trying to think about how to relaunch and how to restructure the Sumo SIG. For everyone who doesn't know, that's not a rap group, although we would like to make one. It's a rep group. It's not rap, it's rep, right? Rep, S-I-G, and it's about a special interest group. It's not a very sexy name. Um, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to organize the reps that are part of Sumo and the reps that want to help us in Sumo. Uh, we want to build a, a sort of structure so that they uh, are empowered to help um, everyone around the world to, um, you know, scale Sumo. So that's kind of the idea. And last week at the Sumo, at the body meeting, we talked a lot about it and it was a very nice discussion, a lot of very positive energy from everyone. Um, so if you're interested, this Friday we're going to have at the uh, usual time, which is um, I think 4 p.m. Uh, UTC, we're going to have our uh, buddy meeting this time on Sumo Meets, the channel. Everything's on the Etherpad, so you, you don't have to miss it. So if you're interested, just come and join us. Um, we're looking for leads for each functional area. So if you like localization, anything you want to work there, or forums, or Army Bosom, or anything, join the conversation. Uh, we're very happy to see you there. So that's the one thing, the, the rep group, not the rep group. Um, the second thing, uh, Sumo Asia meeting is also coming soon. It's going to be uh, on this Friday. So there's two huge meetings happening this Friday. Uh, I hope you can make at least one. Uh, we're very excited uh, about the Sumo Asia meeting. Uh, you can check the Etherpad. Um, yeah, and uh, that's it. Those are like the, the important uh, updates. And again, um, oh, I forgot to put the the link to the discussion. If you have any more feedback on this meeting, let us know. As you see, we're trying to iterate and uh, include all of your feedback. Um, so that's that's it. Do you have something else, Madalena, there? I was muted. Um, I'll just say it now because we're running out of time, so we won't probably be able to go through the score forum part. Um, so we're, we're currently finalizing the moderator guidelines that we have been working on for a while. Um, there's a big discussion going on. So if you have any, anything else to add, please do so now, because uh, I'm trying to put all the things together to have something coherent in a nice etherpad. Uh, so please join the discussion. If you have anything to say about how to be a moderator, what does it take? Uh, what should we do about that? And then we'll finalize that this week. Thank you. Oh, okay, that, that's really cool. I think, Nalina, that's great to have guidelines for moderators, right? So that we know who can step up and who can get promoted. I think it's really cool. Maybe, can you add maybe a link to the, to the discussion so that people can find it here on the Ethernet? Yeah, we will do. Thank you. Uh, so, um, else and then, um, as Kadir said, dashboard rework, there's a lot of people already comment, you know, commenting and telling us you know, what they like, what they don't like. Please join the conversation on our blog. There's the link on the Etherpad. Don't miss it. And uh, another thing, um, we have some, a couple of new contributors that are helping us with Arabic. Arabic has been for a while a little um, asleep, like a princess that fell asleep for 100 years, and now we're waking her up. So anyone, if you know any reps that speak Arabic or anyone who wants to get involved with Sumo, uh, we're trying to rebuild the Arabic localization team. So. Tell your friends and you know bring them here because um, Arabic you know it's spoken by so many people and it would be great to offer them great support. Also, I think we need to fix quite a couple of things in uh, left to right, uh, not right to left, sorry, right to left um, um, writing. So I, I think that we're gonna spot them with our um, Arabic contributors. So that's um, a call you know for help. Um, good um, help desk. Um, um, I don't know, uh, who wants to take this on, Patrick? Hi. Hi, uh, So we've been having a great discussion on the contributor forums about uh, what's the right timing to use the auto escalate. Uh, and I think we decided on 12 hours. So uh, we'll be setting that live this week. Um, Andrew asked, uh, will all escalated questions be answered by the help desk? Are you, we plan to answer as many as that as we can. Uh, so far, there's a lot coming in, so uh, we would love help from contributors as well. Um, you know, 
you don't have to focus on just the newest questions. Everybody that posts to our forums deserves an answer. So uh, if you have time and if you want to dig into Oh, I think you're uh, escalated. Is that better? Yes. OK. I posted a link to the escalated, how to view escalated tags in the, in the etherpad. Uh, please give it a try and just take a look at the questions and see if you can answer them. Thanks. Thank uh, you. Yeah, just wanted to add something here quickly, um, just to reinforce what Patrick said. So the escalation, um, the escalate tag is not exclusive to the uh, help this team, so anybody can contribute if uh, if you want to, and if you feel like you can do it, because those are supposed to be the the most difficult questions. So if you can take out uh, the challenge, please do so. Uh, we would love definitely love the help, um, and I think it would be very interesting for for you guys to test your your knowledge. Yes. So go for it. Very cool. So I see one question um, from Andrew. You said, Patrick, that you're we're trying to give everyone an answer. So yep. um, Andrew, that should answer uh, your question. So we're really looking forward to answer it to everyone. So very cool efforts from the help desk team and the community all together. Awesome. Um, Madalena, you, you do have some time to talk a little bit more about the support firm if you feel like there's something else you want to touch on today. No, that was run Oh. Yeah, no, that was basically the main thing that I wanted to, to focus on today. So again, if you have anything more to say about moderators, please do so now. <laughs> and I'll post the link to the to the other path so everybody can follow. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, okay, and then what we have is um, the contributors of the week. So uh, I wanted to uh, nominate this week the Spanish uh, LTNN community. They got, it's a very funny tweet, they actually managed to get 101% uh, of the localization coverage. I mean, you have to get there, right? So <laughs> definitely uh, the Spanish team, uh, <laughs> a round of applause for 101%. However that happened, uh, it makes me think about our system. Anyway, that, that, that kind of like, yeah, I know because you're, you're thinking about it. But cool, thanks a lot. I wanted to nominate the buddies. Um, last, the last buddy meeting was incredible. It was full of enthusiasm, of ideas, uh, you know, very positive energy. So um, buddies, keep it going. I think that everyone's very positive, and, and I think we're seeing the results of that and the general community. So you know, I just wanted to uh, nominate the buddies. Um, and uh, what else? Hermina, you have a nomination. Please go for it. Yes, yes. I wanted to nominate Philip for helping us uh, on um, on our going to discuss about on this issue with uh, with update in Poland. So I had the chance to spend some time today and uh, and have a look at the at the US for uh, Poland. So uh, Philip helped us a lot, and I want to thank him now and send him like as well warm warm welcome from from Paris. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Romina. Anyone else wants to nominate someone? Okay. Well, just work on those nominations. I want to see more names next week. Everyone's doing a great job, so we should we should take the time to acknowledge that. Well, thank you, everyone, for this meeting. Is there are there any questions? Anything you would like to say? Otherwise, we are, I think, at the end of this meeting. Um, we try to make it a little fast today. Without, I hope it didn't feel like it was too fast. Um, any feedback, please let us know. And it was great having you here. And see you next week. Enjoy. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.